A key component of the modern world economy, the chemical industry delivers products and innovations to enhance everyday life. It is also an industry in transformation, where chemical executives and workers are delivering growth and industry-changing advancements while responding to pressures from investors, regulators, and public opinion. Discover how leading companies are approaching these challenges here on The Chemical Show. Join Victoria Meyer, president of Progressio Global and host of The Chemical Show, as she speaks with executives across the industry and learns how they are leading their companies to grow, transform, and push industry boundaries on all frontiers. Here's your host, Victoria Meyer. Hi, I'm Victoria Meyer. Welcome to The Chemical Show. Um, as you guys maybe know, The Chemical Show is now a top 5% podcast globally, so that's really awesome. Keep listening, sharing, liking, uh, following, etc. So you might notice, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, that we are in a different setting. So I'm actually doing this live today with my two guests um, in a studio in uh, Fort Worth, um, where I'm here for the SOCMA show. So today um, I am meeting with people that you've already heard on the show. So we've got Michael Suver, who is EVP of, uh, what are you EVP of, Mike? Maybe you should Specialty answer. Specialty Chemicals. All right, Mike is EVP of Specialty Chemicals um, for Integrity Biochem. And I've got Cameron Whaley, who is the president and CEO of SCT. So delighted to have both of these guys here and uh, we're gonna have a great conversation. So, hey guys, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. And this is uh, this is kind of fun. So I have been podcasting for a year via Zoom. Um, and in fact, I was actually looking, I think Mike, you know, our first time that we talked for the podcast was about 11 months ago. So mm -hmm. um, time Lots flies. Lots has changed too. Lots has changed. Yeah. It's, it's been a long year. <laughs> It's, it's been, been a, a really, really long year. It, 2021 <laughs> was long and 2022 is going really fast. Yes. Really, really fast. So awesome. So let's just jump into this. Um, SOCMA. So this is my first time actually being here mm -hmm. at SOCMA at the Specialty Chemical Show. Um, and it's been really interesting. And it's a whole different universe of people and companies than I typically have um, done business with, certainly different right. than the Shells and Clarions where I worked before. Mm -hmm. So Cameron, I know that SCT has been a member of SOCMA for a long time. Can you just talk about SOCMA and the show and, and what it's all about? Yeah, I'll, I'll do the best I can. Um, you know, SCT became a supplier affiliate with SOCMA a number of years ago. Um, SOCMA, their big meeting used to be called an Informex. And, um, you, you know, it was usually in New Orleans or, or, or in Florida, kind of bounced around between the two. And then uh, this show in Fort Worth, SOCMA purchased from Tom Leahy, the specialty chem and agro show. Okay. So this is the first year that SOCMA has taken over the specialty chem show. Oh, so okay. it's uh, this is brand new and the attendance has been phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, it it's, like uh, it. yeah, there's like over 850 people here. It's uh, it's been really good. So it's it's a just conference. To to live, right? Yeah, it's been really good just to see everyone mm -hmm. in person, like seeing people in 3D rather than Zoom. Right. Um, but so it's uh, it's a conference. There's there's talks in in multiple rooms, uh, industry experts. There's panels, but then there's also uh, a trade show booth, an exhibitor booth, where a lot of uh, chemical manufacturers in in North America and and from across the globe yeah. uh, get to uh, have a presence and yeah. and display new things. Yeah. What's interesting to me is SACMA um, being, uh, oh, I'm probably going to get it wrong, but it's a society of, of chem chemical manufacturers and associates, mm -hmm. which is really custom manufacturing. So this is, sure. it's kind of a new world for me. Um, talking to people at the conference, business has been good, right? So everybody's saying business is good. So how has 2021 and 2022 played out for you guys? Maybe let's just start with Mike. Well, for Integrity Biochem, it's been a, a, a you know, change. We, we've gone through and are going through kind of a transformation from being a pure play uh, energy uh, producer uh, to more of a specialty chemical company. So it has been change. If you have, if I had to have one word, it would be change. But it's a it's, it's a good thing for us, and uh, we're growing by leaps and bounds. And it's a, it's a fun organization to be a part of. Awesome. And I, I imagine uh, with oil at hundred dollars a barrel, it's not so bad to be anchored in energy at the moment. Correct. Um, but obviously, you know, wanting 
you're here with a company that helped expand its footprint. And Correct. Presence. Yeah. How about for you, Cameron? Well, for us, you know, we uh, we have a presence in in oil and gas and energy. Uh, so this this is a, you know really targeted approach for us. Um, the majority of our business is in uh, personal care and home care. Yeah. And that's so, been a good market. It's been a great it's been a great market. I mean, it, you know, it, it has its challenges, just like any any market does right now. But um, the growth has been has been you know, good for SCT. Uh, energy is is expanding rapidly. Um, the growth and the the amount of production in oil and gas going on right now. It's uh, you know it all has its challenges yeah. with supply chain. Yeah. You know, providing uh, the surfactants that we offer. Yeah, that's interesting. So you know, one of the things um, as I've walked around the show and talked to folks, everybody says that there are a lot of people coming to them for tolling, custom blending, etc. Um, demand is strong. So the question I really have is like, what's driving that? I mean, is this the current rising inflation, interest rates and inflationary period that we're in? Um, is it limited investment elsewhere? Or do you guys see something else? I mean, you, you can take that one over yeah. first. Well, I mean, from, from my perspective, it's, it's the supply chain. Uh, yeah. It's, there's a, there's a variety of, of, of things that we can point to that's causing this. Yeah. But, but folks are looking to uh, buy closer to home. Absolutely. I mean, that's really. Oh, that's interesting. That's so it's real. really helped domestic manufacturers. I, yeah, yeah. Well, absolutely, and, it has. And you can have you can have capacity. You can have all all the all the product in the world. Again, it it, it goes to logistics and transportation. Also, mm. you, if you if you don't have a good transportation partner, if you don't have your internal logistics uh, right, um, it doesn't matter what yeah. you have. You can't get it to the customer. Yeah. It, it it really is a completely different ball game right now. Yeah, that's interesting. And I remember from our conversation previously you guys actually do some of your own logistics we do we do Riva transport is a subsidiary yeah. of ours and and it's been uh, it, it it was our biggest liability but it, you know at times it can be your best asset awesome That's and really it's cool. not going to change no in the foreseeable future the, no. the supply chain and transport yeah. yeah correct is it through the end of the year is it beyond that I think it's at least through the end of the yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. Well, and of course, I know right now um, with the conflict in Russia and the Ukraine, mm -hmm. it's put global supply chains under stress again. I don't think we know where it's going uh, at the time that we're well, recording this, but right. and, it's going to have an influence. And for the U.S. energy market, I mean, it's, uh, it's really putting a spotlight on, okay, we have this available yeah. product. Capacity. Yeah. And capacity. Is there. You know, we, we, we're already the world's largest producer yeah you know we, we need to take care of others yeah also. well and and there's been some and I, I attended a um event last week and there was a speaker talking about kind of just what's driving some of the energy and stuff and what's interesting is a lot of it's being really driven by you know the lack of development and in continued drilling and production in the u.s is driven by capital discipline a lot of it's an influence from investors and this shift towards really a, you know sustainability and not in wanting to limit how much carbon production there is right. and stuff and so i think we're in an interesting tipping point and, and pivot point at the moment well the, the beauty of the chemical industry right now is the push for sustainable products yeah. that are available and scalable yeah and that is happening in real time absolutely so so that is a great segue because yeah. you guys have been working together now yes. for a while right yes. so you've got a um you've been collaborating on some biosurfactants i know that you know ibc is developing and and working on with you so can you talk about that sure sure well as, as we spoke a, a few minutes ago you know and we talked uh, in our first podcast ibc is is pivoting uh, to more of a specialty uh, chemical company. Mm -hmm. uh, oil fields are always going to be important to IBC, uh, but we want to uh, maximize uh, our technology in, in other markets. Yeah. And we had developed uh, purely for the oil fields a biopolymer uh, some, some five years ago, mm -hmm. and it became apparent that this biopolymer was extremely versatile and uh, was very compatible. Uh, and had some unique characteristics that led us down the path to start making bio-based surfactants. Got it. And when I came on board and we started talking about these products and what they did and what we could do, if it wasn't my first phone call, it was probably my second, and it was to Cameron and his folks mm -hmm. to say, hey, 
let's sit down and let's talk about this technology and, and what we can do together. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, so that was that was two years ago. Um, IBC, Mike, and Jimmy brought us this this uh, plant-based, bio-based product, and they basically said, "Hey, we think it can do this. Can you show us what it really, really can do?" And so we uh, we gave it to our our R and D team in in New Jersey, and I don't know, it was, it was six months worth of work in, in house, really putting it through paces and formulation, seeing what it's compatible with. Where, where its strengths are, where its weaknesses are. And we, we gathered back together and, and, and basically sat down with IBC and said, hey, I, I think we really have something here. We really have something unique. We, uh, it, it, it has some really interesting properties in, uh, in personal care formulation. So it, it became, okay, here's the data where do we go from where do we where do we take this awesome. what do we do with it and, uh, and it sounds like you guys you know fast forward to today mm -hmm. um, you guys are ready to take it onto the market right so Absolutely. you've got your regulatory approvals 100%. and you've gone through because there's a lot of work to get a product oh, yeah. to Especially market a new to commercialized right correct so can you how about give us just some of the inkling behind you know what does it take to get that product commercialized it's uh, <laughs> Mike, you, you, you look like you're bracing for it. <laughs> yeah, it, it has been an eye opener for me for sure. Uh, and, and we really have two sets of, of surfactants. We have an industrial line of surfactants called TegraSurf, which we are um, launching, uh, getting all the regulatory approval and, and whatnot. Uh, we've actually, uh, we use all bio-based, all of our bio-based surfactants go into all of our uh, energy fluids. Got it. We're no longer using any uh, synthetic surfactants oh, at all. that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so our customers love it. It checks their box and it works really well. Right. Uh, but moving and pivoting over to our, our, our personal care line, Eden Surf, uh, it had been a challenge because it was a new molecule. Yeah. And so going through the Inky uh, certification mm -hmm. was um, uh, a, a challenge for us. It, it was it was new to IBC, but yeah. something that, that, that Cameron and his team helped yeah. with us. Yeah. Uh, and, and to be honest with you, uh, would we have liked to have launched this six, seven months ago? Yes, but the reality is we've learned so much about this molecule, what it does, what it can do, yeah. all the attributes that, that, that we thought it could do, but then it bore out over our collaboration. So, so I think it, it's, it's gonna work out in the end. Awesome. Right, yeah, I mean, we, uh, we, we, we've seen, you know, with, with the, uh, the maltodextrin laureate backbone, of Eden Surf, it, it, it you know we immediately put it into formulations in, in bath care, um, some skin care, you know what we saw replacing current surfactants with the Eden Surf 1200 was you know sometimes with with some of the the plant based products that you see now number one they're not effective. Uh, right. in, in viscosity building. They're not effective in, in foaming. And, and they leave up, you get a tacky residue. You know, it, it's just kind of, yeah. it's like, I'm oh. laughing because I, I have this yeah. skincare product I'm using that's in my travel bag, which is, so it's here with me right. in Fort Worth. And I actually hate this stuff and I probably need to flip it over and see what it's made of because yeah. it doesn't Absolutely. foam, yeah. it's tacky. But it's you feel whatever. so good about yeah. it because it's 100% it plant pretty. and it smells it great. It smells really pretty. So, so that was, that, that's a good thing. That was the challenge. <laughs> that was the challenge. How do we get this, this new molecule to not be that? Yeah. And, and when we, when we first put it in formulation, we saw that it wasn't, Yeah, it, it was like nothing we had ever seen. Yeah. Um, and then we started doing formulation work with it and then performance work with it, you know, actual, analytics and performance studies um, and inc the, the low dermal tear irritation numbers we have not seen. Hmm. It's the lowest we've seen in formulation yet. Right. Uh, viscosity builds that we haven't seen in formulation. So it was, okay, hey, we love this. Let's, let's, let's get this to market as soon Got as it. we possibly mm -hmm. can. But, you know, going through, you have to, you have to, you have to be slow and steady. Well, and especially There's a lot of stability work. that is in personal care that's touching people's skin. Correct. Um, a lot of stability work. And has a work. lot of, you know, right. FDA, mm -hmm. an FDA influence. Maybe does it have an EPA influence? I guess just, but it's mostly Not necessarily FDA. for personal yeah. care, yeah. but yeah, okay. FDA and, and, yeah. and, you know, you have to, there's a lot of uh, boxes you have to check. Yeah. So how do you bring customers on board? I mean, you guys are excited about it. You've got the skills and the resources to kind of figure this out. And yet, 
it doesn't do you any good if you've developed it and nobody wants it. Um, so how do you validate this in the market? How do you get customers interested and engaged in buying a new molecule when it's going to take some reformulation work? Some, I, but there's a there's a tailwind out there mm -hmm. with sustainability, yeah. Yeah. Uh, ESG, and all the all the buzzwords and, and the new the new thinking of of not only uh, these small formulators, but but big conglomerates are all talking about this. They have staffs of sustainability now where three, four, five years ago, it was talked about, yeah. but it wasn't a whole lot of action. Yeah. So we have a tailwind here. And look, there's been bio-based solvents back years ago that, that was going to be the next coalescent agent or or something of that nature that really never took off so yeah. there's going to be skepticism right and, and part of part of our job together is to uh, get you know Dextera is 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 their line of products out okay. in, you know out in the customer base but we feel pretty confident not only in in the results we've seen over the last you know 14 months or so but we've got some folks that are that are formulating with it and and running it through its tests and so far so good yeah so how we how we came about I mean it was a it's really been a, 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 a an amazing collaboration mm -hmm. between IBC and SCT I mean you know to get I think in any in any venture you start out with, number one, you have to have trust. Yeah. That's that's number one. That was that was immediate between our two yeah. our two companies was a level of trust. You have to have like minded values. Yeah. A and and my leadership team and the leadership team with Mike and Jimmy and his group, the it's a like value company right you, you, you know so so it's easy to go down that path so we took the Eden surf put it into formulated and basically you know the Eden surf 1200 enhanced some of the surfactant performance concentrates that we already had got it and so it was an it was a very easy marriage yeah. putting those in and so out of that was born the Dextera Awesome. Performance line. Awesome. So and so you're ready to go to market with this. We are. That's we are. Cool. And, we and, are. And, and I think you should tell her how you came up. up oh, with how did you go with the name? Yeah, tell me about it. The naming is so, interesting, yeah. right? Naming, naming is always tough. So we were we were at a meeting um, with uh, Mike and I and, and, uh, and our groups. And it was the whole purpose of this meeting was to kind of lay out our, our strategy. Mm. Not only we, we had the development work started. Right. So it's okay. We've got a pathway. So we 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 laid out a pathway. We laid out a uh, a timeline for success and completion. So I was tasked with a three and a half hour drive back home <laughs> from Jimmy Jet of okay. We need a we need another name. Versus what was the well, prior name? It's Eden Surf. Okay. But but as you blend it into as we as a, we make a different it product. a performing yeah. solution. Got it. That needs a name. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Great. Thanks, Jimmy. I'll work on that. Yeah. So three and a half hours um, in the car, you know, just racking my brain. I'm like, okay, what's the what's the what's the molecule? All right, it's 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 maltodextrin. It comes from it's a polysaccharide. It comes from, yeah. you know, a, a sugar-based yeah. uh, uh, renewable uh, carbon. Okay. Well, that and I don't know. I saw some road sign that said Terra something. Dextera. <laughs> Road signs are a good source I of think, inspiration. And then I then I immediately <laughs> Googled. Call. Then I called yeah. and I go, I think this is a drug. Somebody Google <laughs> this for me. I think it's a drug. And Dextera was not a yeah. drug. Good. So, That's really um, good. It's, it's really, really funny um, that the timing of this, because I just got an email before uh, before we came over here. So our our trademark is fully 100% registered. Congratulations. As of today. That's exciting. So, good news. Kudos. Yeah. Yep. Kudos. But let me let me go back to what he was yeah. talking about the trust and the yeah. shared values. I mean, which this are, is all about partnership, I mean, that's right? A, and that's a no. Yep. That, that's a that, that's a, a stop, in my opinion, if you don't have those first. But mm. one of the things that were that really became very clear, at least in my 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 mind, was that we were going to take each other's strengths mm. and really really marry them together. And, and we each have some really good core competencies yeah. that can enhance the others. 
I don't really like to use the, the, the term win-win, yeah. but it really is. You know, we're, we're adding it value, is. core value to both companies by, by this, you know, by this partnership. And, and that's really what drives uh, us. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I think that's, I do think that's important. I mean, the whole aspect of partnership, because at the end of the day, it's hard to find the right business partner. Oh. Right, yes. well, and so you really have to get very clear about what's important to you um, in terms of what do you need a partner to bring, how you match that up. Trust is trust in some ways is almost table stakes because you're not going to do business with somebody you don't trust. Right. But you have to have the right kind of trust to build on and then match your capabilities and maybe your market elements and in other aspects. Right. Well, I, I think part of the the beauty instantly was we come from a, a market that is foreign to IBC yeah this the manufacturing of Eden surf and the molecule is foreign to us so we just put those two strengths together and oh, and went from there and we all have a, a very entrepreneurial spirit yes you do yeah. <laughs> yes, that's, you do. that's a nice way to say yeah it, it, is. Is. Yeah. it is really good. is yeah that is good it's perfect um, so what's next for you guys? I mean, so obviously you're ready to go to market with Dextera. You're ready to go to market with Eden Surf. Mm -hmm. um, one is the market ready for you? They, uh, they better you think be. So? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> awesome. And and and, and remember, uh, the, one of the most important aspects of Eden Surf, which is extremely important to Cameron and his team, and then ultimately his customers and our customers, is that it's sustainable, but it's it's scalable mm -hmm. we can make a lot of of our products which mm -hmm. is a little unique uh, in the bio world today. right right and i think we talked about that before but the because you're right because that's one of the it's been historically been a challenge is mm -hmm. bio-based materials it's awesome but if you think about some of the biggest uh, producers, let's say, of personal care products, which might be somebody like a PNG mm -hmm, or you know, mm -hmm. pick your major consumer products company. They need a lot of mm -hmm. products, um, so scalability is critical. Correct, absolutely. Yeah. Well, and also whenever you're, whenever you know, in our early discussions, I mean, one of the one of the main key points that IBC brought to us uh, about the molecule was even though it is domestically sourced yeah so that was wonderful yeah we, we, we don't have shipping concerns overseas overseas shipping concerns and number two the the molecule is is completely non-detrimental to the current food supply correct oh, it was an overlooked food I mean source. that was source. that was huge for all of us that's interesting because I mean it, it, okay we have this great molecule this great renewable carbon but if it if it damages a current food source or food supply that doesn't work so Correct. what's the can you talk about this what's the feedstock or the raw material are you uh, allowed to talk about this well i, no, I, mean, no. I mean it's it's a uh, polysaccharide okay so it, it's a sugar okay yeah uh derived from uh a food source that's uh domestically available not only here but globally okay. but it, and it's a large large domestic yep. uh, Got product. Got it. So there's, yeah. a, there's a sufficient amount of it that you your impact is not impacting Correct. Correct. that not overall at all. food source. Yep. Not awesome. at all. Absolutely. Cool. So there was, a, there, were, there was a lot of discussions, you know, before we, we all started down this path. Yeah. Awesome. A lot and of work. I bet your teams are excited. They are. They're very excited. Very cool. So what is next for you guys? So you're getting, you're, you're launching. So what's, what's coming up next? So I know that this cannot be one and done. It, it no. surely won't be. Yeah. No. It surely won't be. Well, for SCT, I mean, our, our big, you know, official product launch will mm -hmm. be uh, at NYSCC okay. in, That's in May. Yeah. yeah, in May. So you'll see Dextera stuff everywhere okay. uh, and a lot of information. Uh, you know, we're going to be pushing uh, the product awesome. uh, prior to that, of course. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it'll be time for, you know, our customers and and yeah. people in our industry to kind of finally take a look, see, touch, feel uh, the product. Makes sense. Makes sense. How about for you, Mike? We're going to continue to uh, launch uh, new surfactants in, 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 into the marketplace. Uh, four or five uh, new for uh, the personal care 
wow. industry. Mm -hmm. We've launched uh, 10 or so uh, surfactants, biosurfactants for the uh, industrial side, energy, mm -hmm. ag. We'll continue to uh, seek out relationships that uh, um, I'm, I'm not sure we'll have one as quite as close as we, we do with Cameron and SCT, but yeah. we'll continue to work that angle. Work and through partners. Sure. And, yeah. uh, we're an R&D company. We want to stay true to that uh, as we continue to uh, develop and take this you know, this biopolymer to, to new places and, and new heights. Awesome. That's exciting. Yeah, it is. Well, good. Well, I am so glad we got to meet up in person. That's great. <laughs> it's been, you know, the first time in years two years that i've yeah. uh, you know sat in a room it seems like with this is a great people for a meeting yeah. and this you're is gonna a have to relocate yeah. to fort worth <laughs> well i'm not sure if i'm gonna go that far but you know if it, i might find some future studio space yeah. to be you know to have some of these live conversations some more so this is really cool well your show you do a really good job and and i i know i'll speak on behalf of cameron and i we're pretty honored that you asked us to come back on yeah so well, I'm excited His that you agree. Time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's the, the repeat. <laughs> repeat. You know, we'll well, we'll see. Yeah. And I, I was going to say, are we going to start doing it into three peats and the four peats, like I guess the uh, Maybe. basketball teams? That's do, right. But we'll see. Maybe. We'll like see what it. happens. Yeah. You I guys like keep it. doing new things, and we'll have new things to talk about. Excellent. Fantastic. Awesome. Well, thanks, guys, for joining the Chemical Show. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it, and thanks to everybody for listening. Um, Keep listening, liking, following, sharing, and uh, growing our listenership. We appreciate that. Cheers. We've come to the end of today's podcast. We hope you enjoyed your time with us and want to learn more. Simply visit thechemicalshow.com for additional information and helpful resources. Join us again next time here on The Chemical Show with Victoria Meyer.